Bruce and Robin on duty near Ascot Racecourse. This rough cut video is for Robin and Bruce's friends and family. Uh, we start with a standard introduction. Yeah, coming to Robin's corner with warning signs about guard cats, armed mice, of course, where GPS was tested from the late 1980s at this spot. It's a lovely bit of garden sculpture, which was last year's birthday present from June. And uh, down our front drive, this is a standard intro that a lot of people have seen. And uh, Snoopy's robot boat that survived six weeks at sea last year. And we're gradually getting around to do work on it. Checking out an autopilot to replace the one that the seawater got into. The camper that was used for the trip down to launch Snoopy last year with battle damage. June said Robin did it, Robin said the wall did it, but the wall is okay. And of course, important thing is his health and safety. So we have warning signs everywhere about cameras and not just cameras, but water squirters. And you've got to read the small print about water squirters. That's it, I've done the health and safety. So now into the house. And I'll just point out that anybody interested would have seen where Robin walked today from home through to here. And it's all connected with the royalty at the Ascot Racecourse. I won't say anything more for security reasons. So uh, I'll now go into that roughly cut video and I'll end up this by wrapping up with uh, a much earlier video which is from a press release talking about the DVLA um, just for people who don't, didn't get that message so into that rough cut video and I waiting for arrival of His Royal Highness and uh, looks like a few other people taking an interest I, I'm not sure on the way here Bruce and I were discussing police horses and the use of marbles but don't know don't know anything about that do we no 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 allegedly that was a long time ago so yeah we're expecting them soon God save the king. Entourage of other cars. <laughs> yeah, we can, we can hear the horses, and uh, here they go, they're coming back again. So, we've got the security duty with them. It's <laughs> <laughs> quite resplendent in the delivery, don't they? Yeah. Lots of ladies. Ladies. Right, here they come. Well, you know, we've had our day security duty just here, haven't we? Most people wouldn't realise, but that's what we're here for. Yeah. And their weapons aren't obviously visible either, are they? They're incognito. Exactly, incognito. There you go. So, 
looks as though we've seen them safely back. So there you go. Ice creams as well. Yeah. Well, that's usually a sign just to let us know that somebody important is coming along. Uh, we're still on duty here. You wouldn't know that we're important guys, but that's the way it is. And uh, yeah, so let's just see, is it quiet? Yeah, it's quiet. Okay, so they'll they're probably be coming along here soon. But uh, we'll we're carry on relaxing. <laughs> Yeah, sure enough, is the is the carriage coming along? We we'll carry on on duty here. Nobody would realise what we're really up to, would they? Because anybody's interested, no. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Hope you had a good day. Any winners? <laughs> Any winners? Buzz cut a quick. Well, it's right, that's when you want it. No money to you, no money. Yeah. It's our day. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah. Oh. Hope you had a good day. Good day. <laughs> Winner. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> it's not a good one, is it? Oh, here we go. So, would they be in one of those cars? Which one? The roller? Could it be? No, not the one. Could it be in the white car? Oh, right. <laughs> oh, it'd be a white car, would it? Right. What are you, you going to say then? Well, <laughs> the train, what do you think the roller? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, mate. oh yeah, he's got. A, we've got an escort. There we go. What's it? For? Yeah, escort. Right. Well, I'll let, I'll let you give the navigation on how we. I did warn you it was rough cut so into that video that uh, I mentioned earlier about the DVLA to wrap it up. Hello I'm Robin Lovelock in Sunning Hill and but yes this is Robin's Corner where we've tested GPS from the light, late 1980s onward and uh, that's the bit of garden sculpture that June gave me for my birthday present and June and Samantha are just off to tennis at the Royal Ascot Tennis Club and it looks like they're going to use June's car there we go give them a good thrashing June there we go that's the Reg Kiss GPS gpss.co.uk yes promoting the website which was a business many decades ago so they're off to tennis and since it's in shot that's where a cat often hangs out along with armed mice look like so we can see and I'm going to open the garage door Have a good game. Oh yes, that's our guard cat, Toadie. Hello, Toadie. That's my car. And I'm not able, being able to, allowed to drive it um, again uh, due to uh, the DVLA, the Driver Vehicle Licensing Agency, for those of you outside the UK. And uh, I'll just point this out, C4 GPS and the website gpss.co.uk and these days rather than business it's all about charity and believe it or not the few words I say are a lot to do with 
hopefully helping people within the DVLA as well as outside. Um, so yes, this is Snoopy's robot boat and these things linked together. Uh, tried the Atlantic, lots of exposure on that. And I'm gonna run straight into a recent clip where I speak in detail. The key thing is the DVLA, Driver Vehicle Licensing Agency, collect a lot of money for the UK government and of course they use a lot of money for what they have to do which is issue driving licenses and also for licensing of cars and vehicles. So let's run into that. Back in 2012. ...the launch of a transatlantic sailing attempt this morning in a model boat. Retired NATO scientist Robin Lovelock launched his Snoop Loop from Barton on Sea towards the Bahamas. It's already been tested over 5,000 miles on a lake in Berkshire. The model will be steered and tracked through a satellite system and by Snoopy, of course, and it should make the crossing in six months, if it survives, that is. The most important thing of the lot, of course, is Snoopy the Viking, the skipper. I don't think he'd make it otherwise. We've also got another bit and piece here. This is a GPS logger that logs the position every 15 minutes. For that was back in 2012. Um, the guy the that put this material together, including live broadcast and what went up on the BBC website, is Ben Moore. Right, on to the next topic. Right. Now, I'm going to do this all in one take. Um, all re unrehearsed and unscripted, so sorry about that. Uh, what I'd like to happen, if anybody picks up on the uh, DVLA story, is, as I say, nobody getting into trouble, and that is a, that's a genuine request, but when they, they find flaws in procedures where they don't cover certain things, be good if those are fixed. What I think would be useful uh, for anybody looking at the DVLA and then perhaps helping them is first of all their organization chart show, showing the structure yes it's well known who the head of the DVLA remarkable woman looking at her CV um, and relevant to this story is uh, the head of the health part but it would be very useful to see even if names aren't attached obviously the names can be attached where they're public already is how many people in each branch? How many people are reporting to how many? Uh, so a simple tree would help. I suggest that first of all. Then perhaps even more important is how many people working for the DVLA, even if you don't identify the individuals, are salaried by the DVLA <coughs> excuse me, directly as opposed to contracted through an agency or a business. That is very important, and we've seen what's been happening in places like the NHS for years. Um, so that comes into the equation in terms of whether money is well spent, and of course the DVLA collects a lot of money. Um, and there are probably other things as well. But as a starting point, I'd hope anybody that responds to this uh, I can't afford to get overloaded. We've got other things to do, many other things to do. Uh, and we'll be taking a holiday. That'll be public, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm tracked everywhere by different things. And in fact, if anybody's paranoid about it, uh, anybody who's tracking somebody or looking at somebody's probably seen <laughs> already. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, there's me wittering on, which is one of my main weakness since I was a little little child. That's why if you put things up clearly be careful what you put up and uh, often it can do some good. I'm now in the kitchen and June's rustling up some food in the microwave for Samantha. The microwave was invented by James Lovelock if you didn't know and here's Samantha and of course, there's tennis on the television, just for a change. So, 
Oh, yes, point out. Holidays in Sicily. We're going off to Sicily again soon. And into the hall. Yes, nice expensive paintings here. Yep, expensive little pocket camera. <laughs> Not expensive. And through into the lounge and out to wrap up this video by saying look after yourselves stay safe and enjoy what days we have